Look at look at what we be dealing with over here. And look at me, I can even get gas now. Um, but what's up, Mousetrap Game Man? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Mouse, and I'm reporting to you from the inside of my truck. What are you guys doing today, man? It is. I don't know what's going on with Florida, man, but what this weather is like out of control. But I can't control none of that stuff, so it is what it is. You already know what time it is, man. Every beginning of the video, you already know that we give these shout outs. So, um,. Let's go ahead and click yesterday's video and give our first shout out. Just bear with me because I really shouldn't be driving and doing this, but this is pretty much the only free time I got to uh, make a video because I'm actually getting on the road right now and I'm gonna be on the road for the next like 30 to an hour and then I'm gonna be really busy after that. So I'd figure I'd drop you guys a quick little video because I got some good stuff for you guys. And you've seen from the title, uh, the thumbnail, man. The picture, man. It, it's. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff right now. The first comment, uh, shout out goes to Kips Customs. Uh, he actually comment Abdul, and so basically what that means is he actually knows who the speaker plug is, Abdul. Uh, that's his name, uh, and more than likely, uh, if you're watching this, Kip Customs, man, you probably went to the Wachula store, or you probably came down here to the store in Palmetto. And that's what's up because uh, dude is actually the plug man he's got everything and anything that you need you know um, to do a, a really loud system man so shout out to you for knowing uh, dude next shout out we're gonna give it to big drum beater and he commented mousetrap gang let's get these likes up man but, hey that's what it's all about man we're here to grow this channel uh, this car community man you know everybody that um, is a subscriber is a part of the gang man and we are are all of us are gonna grow together man on this channel, especially you guys that have been watching the channel since day one, uh, the, this is all. The, even right now, it's still our beginning journey, and you guys are all the OGs, man. You guys are seeing everything live in action, and, and you guys are gonna definitely see some stuff today. Next shout out goes to Mario Nunez, and his comment was, "If you're going for that mid base, check out the Seven Driver MH420." mid driver i had four of them and them sounded very good man and that's what's up man you know i need good opinions on all these uh mids and highs that i'm trying to mess with uh, because i want to do the perfect combination of mid mids and highs on my truck when i do it in the back of the bed and I, i'm gonna do two actual uh woofers that are actually gonna play a deeper like bass tone i'm gonna do two mid-range speakers that are going to play um, the the mid-range that we need. I'm going to do two mid-bass speakers to play that other mid-bass that we needed to do. And then we're just going to do a, a regular woofer uh, for that the higher frequency voice. Along with, we're going to do horns to let us do all the talking and just uh, some of the slim Slimline Pros, I think that's what they're called, tweeters, just to define the sound to give it that extra that we need. But on those, the tents just for voice, just on the tents for voice in the back, man, I'm gonna slap at least like 5,000 watts on, on, on eight tens, guys, because from what I know, them things can take some power and we're gonna throw some power to them. And the tweeters, and I mean, I, just subscribe and stay tuned to, to for this truck though, man. This thing's gonna be ridiculous. So it was actually raining earlier this morning, and I was all like, man, you know, I I wonder if I can dig up some, uh, you know, old, you know, pictures or videos um, from, you know, prior installs that I did like way back in the day, and like I want to say, you know, I come from the MySpace era. Uh, even at that time, I wish I had my, I, I still knew my login MySpace because I had some pretty badass pictures on it, on, on that. And then, the, that's when the, um, the Instagram era came in. And then I remember I got off of social media for like, cause I was never really a big social media guy like that. Uh, but I always tend to, you know, like to take my pictures and my videos of stuff. You know, just for memories, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna grow old one day. Um, my kids are gonna have kids. And I wanna be, you know, one day to be like, look, you know, this is what your grandpa, you know, this is what I used to do. You 
know, and, you know, I was all right on, on it, doing it, and, you know, just, you know, somewhat, I guess, a little legacy, a little photo, photo gallery, photo album to show them what, you know, I used to do, whatever. Um, so I like to save my pictures, um, but I actually was able to dig some pictures up from, like, 2014, 2015 up, guys. And these pictures are actually pretty bomb. So let's actually just jump in right into uh, uh Let's jump right into them right now. Okay, we're gonna jump into these pictures real quick. Uh, these specific ones because they are from my Trailblazer, the SS that you know you guys know right now, which is the one with the green hood, with the green all interior and everything. And this is actually the first system that I had did on it. Um, if you guys didn't know, I used to have 28 inch floaters on it. Um, and I had a small system in it. My very first system I actually put in it was 412 uh, JLW3s in it. And this is the wall. The, uh, you can see a glimpse of it. It's a little bit blurry, but I mean, you get the picture. And there's um, a 10 along the bottom and then a 12 on top. And then with two big old horn tweeters on it and then with a slot port on it. Um, and it came out pretty good. It sounded pretty good. Uh, I was really happy with it. Um, you see the, the rear door panels right here. I had two eights and a tweeter on it. Um, nothing too crazy. It was wrapped in black vinyl uh, with some suede on top. It looked pretty good. And then these are the actual pictures of it in the building process before they actually got um, speakers put in. And these were my actual front doors uh, right here. They had three tens and a tweeter uh, wrapped in black vinyl with uh, the black suede on it. You know. Uh, I built that right there, man, and yeah, I loved how all that sound, and you know, like, I, I always like to put a lot of mids in my trucks, man. You know, that's pretty much what it is down here. I wish I would have a battery that worked for my old school video camera, because I would show you the systems that were like in 1995, 1998, you know, 99, 2000 era, man, and that's, that's just what it was always over here, man. You know, trying to be loud mids and highs wise and bass wise. Now, what I'm actually going to show you is I had my friend, he had a Chevy Equinox, I think that's what that, that's called, or the Sequoia, and he actually had 112 W7, um, and we walled it off, and right here, what you're looking at is the box for it, and so basically, um, the box is like uh, firing forward, but if you see the sub is like, um, inside of a chamber like sideways you know what I'm saying firing inside the box and then you see that there's a, a brace in the center that was removable with a JL um, logo on it and basically um, the way that that got loaded in there was you take the front part of the box apart and you uh, remove the brace and then you can slide the W7 in it and um, you mount it in there like that because there was a whole other front face that had um, a port snorkel coming out of it and this was actually a fourth order band pass and let me tell you guys when I tell you that thing was loud I think it was like very loud sadly I don't really got too many pictures of it but right now what you're looking at is it's pretty much the wall panel and it had two sixes um, on the wall panel with two tweeters in the center um, stacked up against each other and you're looking at like how it's flushed out um, just bare wood and you see the hole cut out and so uh, right there what I was actually doing is I, I actually mounted that right there and I was I ran the router do, through it um, to get my perfect cutout because that's where the port for the band pass was at and everything was just firing forward and he actually had that sub on one of those um, the real like nicer Alpine amps man I forgot what Alpine amp it was but it was like one of the real deal badass ones I think it was like the the M1005 man those Alpine amps the M1005s man those are like psh, elite amps right there and very very badass man I always you know love using those Alpine amps next we're looking at right here is a console my friend used to have a Ford Lightning when they had came out and um, he actually had this truck ever since we were like in high school um, but he still had it when you know um, 2014 2015 maybe 2013 when I built this but so basically what you're looking at is the side profile of the console and so right here what you're actually looking at is the driver profile side of the console and it basically had um, a big iPad um, mount for it and this was before like 
all those like alpine um, mount rings came out like this is 2014 2013 guys um and it had an eight on the side some cup holders and then it had just like a, a template cut out um that i was going to mount from the back a billet piece uh for uh like switches and stuff like that in his eq and i actually molded tweeters into the console and the top of it um, was just going to get like a cushion padding so it'll be like an armrest and i mean you look at it right here i mean it looked this was like is hit the rough stage of it you know i had just laid the fiberglass mat on it and i got done sanding it and then after i got to the stage where we're getting ready to paint it he actually was all like hey um i'm just gonna go ahead and put the truck back to stock because i actually haven't sold um so i was like dang that's crazy i wish i would have finished that console because that console was actually slick looking the way how it was built and it had all like the curves and the angles on it so that thing was like on point you know no put lie. you guys at a pause right now because your boy actually just stopped inside the gas station and i have to pump gas before i am stranded on the side of the road um riding on the fumes right now man but subscribe because the best is coming right now now back to uh the the images okay so right now i'm going to show you guys um my friend actually had a 2000 and 12 14 maybe impala and prior to building this wall panel for him he had a um blow through that i did a fourth order blow through but it was ported through the rear deck uh no no okay i'm lying i'm lying okay he actually because it's hard to remember sometimes the things that um uh um what i did so far back he actually had a prefab with two 15 inch kicker CVRs in it. And then, so basically he wanted a blow through uh, um, for two 15 uh, CVRs and his Impala. So I was like, all right, bet. So I actually fired the, the blow through forward and um, the port, you know, it came out uh, through the front. And then, so he actually wanted to put uh, six tens in it. Yeah, six tens with four tweeters in it. And I was like, all right, Ben, the only way that we're going to make that work is either if we do, um, you know, a wall. Because we could probably do it with um, a front panel facing forward and then a rear deck. But that's just too much, like, um, magnet-wise. And that's going to be cutting out a lot of the uh, uh, metal out through the rear deck. And he eventually at one point wanted to... Um, put it back to stock if you ever got rid of the car so i was like man we'll just build a wall panel you know no harm no foul if you ever want to take it out um we just took the seat out and if you wanted to put it back to the factory man we just put that seat back in put the rear back in and then act like nothing ever happened we didn't have to cut nothing out and none of that stuff so um we went ahead and started building it and this was all before um the rings that i get now that i build for stuff were actually pre-cuts and this is when you actually had to cut rings out yourself and so basically right here, this is the the beginning of it, of the four or the six tens in the wall panel with the port uh, bezel in the, in the middle. And then right here, do you see it from the window point of view, you know, and that thing was like um, intimidated looking because man, it was just so many tens everywhere. And so right here, what you're looking at is like the skeleton of it. Um, the way I did like the fillers uh, so it'll look pretty good and I always really like to build it like this well back in the day because it gives it more like angles curves and more better like um, prettiness I guess you want to call it so it, it, it just stands out from other stuff and so right here again you know another skeleton view from it and this is another point of view when you open up the door um, look pretty good and so right here this is after I had fleeced it and to be honest with you I had to go ahead and I had to fleece it in the car because I actually brought the fleece out through the the, the doors and I used the uh, weather stripping from the the doors uh, from the door jams I just had the extra weather stripping that I always you know keep around because sometimes you know I build stuff and I'll pull the fleece and then just pretty much uh, put the fleece pull it and then lay the weather stripping on it so it'll follow the contour of the the door 
and then so I just come back in and I trim it out so it's real nice and smooth and right up against it so it's like pretty much perfect and right here what you're looking at is um, after it got fleece and fiberglass and it ended up getting painted burgundy and um, these are only the images that I have of it I, I forgot to ask my friend back in the day or even you know I don't even I haven't talked to the guy um, so I can get a picture of or even if he has a picture of it um, but it was it looked pretty good I liked it um, the bolts the screws that I used for uh, the tweeter mounts the tweeters were black and I had to use these really nice polished uh, screws um, with that nice burgundy paint man it stood out pretty good and you know with the mids and highs that I used uh, with the speaker grills on it man I think it was very very beautiful very nice okay, now let's get back to the action no the phone died the phone died that I was actually looking at the pictures to you know commentate over it let me charge that up real quick and I'll get back to you guys right now man all right the phone actually charged up now okay now back what I was doing okay this last install which you can look at it is from a 2005 maybe 2006 uh, Chevy Tahoe uh, and so basically I had built a wall a box I had built a ported tunnel box and basically it's just like a ported box inside of a small chamber with a small snorkel port just to compress the base that's coming out of it um, just so the base will sound a little bit more smoother instead of it like sounding like forced bass you see what I'm saying and the same formula that I use today is the same formula that I used on this truck um, and this truck had four 12 uh, JLW6s in it on a Mats 3000 and let me tell you guys that thing rocked and that thing definitely rocked okay so right here what you're gonna look at is this is the beginning part of the wall panel you see there's like a big opening and that's you'll you can probably get a glimpse of the box right there and so basically the subs were firing forward with a slot port in the center of it but like I said I had built a small probably like two cube chamber but with probably like at least uh, three to five inch uh, snorkel on it just so it'll compress the base a little bit and give it a little bit more smoother like tighter uh, base notes out of it and on the top of it if you guys can take a glimpse of it it had 12 inch mids um, it had tweeters and it had I think sixes or eights on the side of it this is a better look at it right here because you, because you can see what the subs actually are going to be placed out what the box actually looks like and you see there's actually a horn on the far corner uh, and it has like two sharp angles on some 12 inch mids and then I think it's like an eight and a horn driver along the bottom as well um, but man that thing was like looking really nasty uh, and here's another angle of her right there with everything, um, you know, ready to get fleece. And like I said, I really messed up not ever taking no pictures of like finished product. But I mean, as you can see, like, man, that thing was like intimidating looking. Imagine opening up the door and then that thing's all black vinyl out with the mids and um, them 12s just staring at you. That all there is like the golden, you know, era around here of car audio, man. You know, everybody always tries to be loud bass-wise and mids and highs-wise, man. And I always try to like, man, we got to try to fit as much as possible on there, man. You know what I'm saying? Bass-wise and, you know, mids and highs-wise. So they all align pretty good with good sound quality and everything. And good power on all kinds of stuff. But this was all... You got to remember all this stuff, all these pictures that I'm showing you guys right now, this is all t between 2013 and 2015. So the electronics definitely nowadays um, is totally different. Back in the day was JL Kicker and Alpine and Rockford Fosgate with the, like those power amps and stuff like that. Uh, man, a lot of good installs that I had my hands on that I did on my own and a lot of installs that I actually had my hands on. Uh, working with others and that we got done if only I would have had like a s Social platform when I was actually working at the shop all the other cars man like shh, Man, that, that was good stuff very very good stuff And like I said, I got to learn a lot along the way working with different builders With all of us having the same type of like vision and creativity Trying to make these cars like be 
real loud on a whole different type of level. Drop down in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think of all those pictures, man. I found those pictures. I thought I'd share with you guys, man, because, you know, like I said, we're all, this is the car audio community, and, uh, you know, I love to hear car audio, watch the car audio stuff more than the next guy, man. You know, it's it's a good, you know, good little thing that we got going on. So drop the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit the like video if you guys liked all those installs um, pictures, man. You know, like I dug them up. I'm going to see if I can get another shovel and dig up some more stuff up for you guys. But I'm going to try to see if I can dig up some videos. Um, I'm going to get on eBay and see if I can find one of those cassettes that I can put the old school VHS and like connect it to my TV and get videos from you guys. Because I got plenty of freaking like videos of like stuff back in the day of like the kicker trucks doing demos back when the mini trucks were in style the rockford trucks doing all that stuff um when the solo barracks first came out like uh all that stuff like solo x's man all these badass builds man you know and everything so um let me know what you guys think in the comments second man we're so close to fourth of july man i hope everybody has a good weekend um man you know let me know what you guys are doing on the weekend in the comments i'm gonna still Keep trying to upload your videos these next two videos are gonna be fourth of july related i'll let you guys see what i do on this and all my batteries are dead man so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because the camera's fixing to shut off again uh have a good fourth of july weekend man stay safe and i will check up with you guys tomorrow man peace